I goofed today. Right now, it's almost 8 a.m. and I don't have class until 2 in the afternoon. For some reason in my brain, I convinced myself that I had class early like I do every other day of the week. So I got up at 6 to study for a test. I'm honestly not even mad though because, I don't know, I actually needed this time to do some stuff, so I'm grateful for it. Something I'm learning is that if you want to be successful, get up early. Like the morning hours, nothing more precious. Assa, dude. Assa. That looks like a quesadilla. It it's got cheese in it. Where are we going? Uh, guess. I want everyone on the vlog to guess right now. You have three seconds. If you get snowboarding, you're correct. Tie. How's your day, bro? It's good, bro. It's a class. How'd that job interview go? I feel good about it. I had a job interview today at Pizza Pie Cafe. No, I feel really good about it. There are like a lot of other people there, so I'm kind of nervous because there's like seven other people there. I don't think they're gonna hire seven people. So I guess it's a pretty competitive thing working at a pizza buffet, but. Dude, the pizza buffet is where it's at though. I guess it's only in Rexburg. Bro, get this. I'll tell you this right now, it's gonna get a little real, so. All right, dude, tell me. Keep it chill. So this morning, um, my English class got canceled. And so like, after my alarm went off, I saw that and then I went back to sleep. And then I like, while I was sleeping, I had this dream, and in my dream, you died. Like, I, don't remember, oh, I don't remember how, or like, what was going on, but I just remember you died, and like, it didn't really hit me, and then all of a sudden, it like, hit me, and then, like, in my dream, I started crying, like, a really, like, a good, good, like, from the belly cry, and then I woke up, and I had tears in my eyes. <laughs> oh, dude. And then I, like, was happy, because then I was like, oh, he's not dead. And I was like, man, that would suck if you died. That's the cutest thing you ever said to me, bro. <laughs> You're so nice, dude. I'm trying. What can I say? Ty, dude. Bro, am I Zach going actually right cares way? about me. Am I going the right way? He doesn't hate me. <laughs> So we didn't record one single clip snowboarding because Here's the thing though, like if we would have, I think everyone would just be mad watching it because all they would see is snowflakes falling and they wouldn't see any of us like actually snowboarding. Yeah, we got like three or four inches of snow while we were there. We so were there for like two hours. Definitely was not a good night to film and for that reason didn't film anything. So. But was it a good night for snowboarding? Excellent night. So there's this guy that lives in our apartments. Listen. Yeah, he's a super big tool and he drives his car really loud late at night. And then it sets off all the car alarms in the parking garage because his car is so loud. So we're making a sign for him to put in the parking garage. I know you're thinking that was probably a little harsh, but here's the thing. It's late at night, and that's just kind of unacceptable. You're setting off people's car alarms. That's not cool. And, like, the biggest reason is our roommate already talked to the guy about it, and he said that he wouldn't do it anymore, and he's still doing it. So, I feel like that's justifiable. Oh, we didn't say anything that bad, though. Like, 
I don't know. You gotta tell them. Like, here's the thing. If someone's doing something you don't like, you have to tell them. Because if you don't tell them, how are they ever gonna know? Like, people just don't have spider senses that says, oh, what I'm doing makes someone mad. Like, Truth. We're not Truth. there to, like, call them out on it, so we just put up a sign. Let them know. So, um, moral of the day is don't, don't piss other people off. Don't do dumb things, because... And don't continuously rev a loud engine in a closed parking garage where people know that you live. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Don't do it. So on that positive, nice note, uh, it's time for bed, so I'll see you tomorrow.